Welcome back. Dean Diplock from Briefy House Resort in Castlebar County Mayo is back in the kitchen with us this morning with a dish that's perfect for the whole family. Good morning, Chef. Good morning, good morning. Good to see you. How are you? Excellent. Can't complain. Getting a bit cold, but it's all right. Oh, you've got the perfect dish for the cold? I certainly do. I certainly what do. What are we having, Chef? Right, so we're making a uh, mushroom and chicken Alfredo bake. Ooh. Okay, I'm using fusilli pasta. Uh, what we're going to do first is just get some liquid on the go. I have 100 ml, 150 mils of water and a chicken stock cube. In goes okay. 150 mils of cream together with 200 mils of milk. Okay. And we're just going to bring that to a boil because we're going to make a roux and we're going to okay. make a white sauce, nice sauce Monet by putting the cheese into it. In there I have 120 grams of butter. Now, Two this idea of making a roux petrifies people because of this stage where you think, oh, it's got too dry. No, 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 no. You want so to just it. stay with it. Stay with it. Stay with it. Don't be, don't be afraid at all. Um, right. All you want to do is really incorporate the butter and the flour to to make the roux, starting it up. Right. Okay. This, that's going to be the thickening. You want to coat each of the flour grains with the butter. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to set that aside. In the meantime, so that's your flour and butter. Flour right? and butter is ready. Water is going to come to a boil, or at least the Stop, we hope it is. It should come to a boil in a second, and then we'll put the two together very quickly. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to put, now I've pre-cooked some of these things according to the recipe. Okay. Uh, you can do it all in one pot, but just for time purposes, I've pre-cooked the onions. Okay. To which I'm then going to add some garlic. Don't put the garlic in first, it'll burn. Okay, so onions so, first. Yes, onions first, brown, caramelize them. Then you can put your bacon in. Your bacon, um, in, in, if you're doing it all in one pot, the bacon doesn't have to be cooked um, crispy. You just want to soften it up and, and get it uh, cooked through. Okay. Um, mushrooms, another one very important. Don't boil the mushrooms. Start off first with your mushrooms. Let the water come out. Put a little bit of salt in there. Let the water come out of them and keep cooking them until it goes dry and you get a nice caramelized umami taste. That's what you're looking Excellent. for in it. Smell. Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy. To which I'm now going to add my cooked bacon, which I already have done okay. up. Okay. And then my mushrooms. I'm just warming these through at this stage so we can put the dish together really. Okay. As they're already cooked in advance. And then our fresh thyme. I've just dried it a little bit myself. Um, either thyme or oregano probably the two best that will go in this dish if you don't have time use oregano okay. and if you don't have fresh you can use dry no problem dried is okay isn't it which yeah, dried is okay dried isn't is it? fine yeah, yeah. absolutely fine just use a little less because it's actually quite strong it okay. intensifies its flavor okay. so i'm just going to put a lid on that and we're going to turn that down a little and that's a, oh, your milk is about to go there oh, chef well, hey yeah, good, good spot good, sir good spot ah. sir good spot right so it's boiling now. <laughs> yeah, now it's boiling. Yeah. Right. So, so you're going to finish your roux here. I'm going to okay. make the roux now. You'll see, when I make the roux, I'm going to go quite fast. There's no need to wait too much because the water and your stock cream is hot. So it'll start thickening straight away. That's and an that's interesting one, it done. chef. If I... you put cold milk in, you're going to get lumps. Ah, right, yeah. okay, so warm the milk through. Warm the milk through. And I've never seen a chicken stock, a, a stock cube in there before. Uh, that's just for the flavour to add to okay. the pasta. Um, you can put <clears throat> you can put a vegetable uh, bouillon in as well, no problem. And that's thickening, already thickened. Thickening, uh, look, it's ready to go. Dusted. That's so amazing. quick. Um, I'm now going to add the two cheeses okay. that I have. That is Parmesan cheese, just half a cup, and uh, a good strong cheddar, so a mature cheddar. Okay. Goes in. Oh, look at that. And that's now our Mornay sauce. Can I ask made. you something, Chef? That sauce you've just made, could you make a quick mac and cheese out of that? Absolutely. That's Absolutely. your mac and that's cheese. That's the job. base of your mac and cheese. Uh, this, I guess you could call a chicken and mushroom mac and cheese. <coughs> Very good. Okay. Except we're not using macaroni. No, we're not. <laughs> Fusilli. <coughs> Fusilli pasta. Fusilli is the little spiral pasta that we have. Okay. okay, so again, my chicken is already cooked in advance. Again, this is, can be all done in one dish. But now we're going to put it all together. And did you just pan fry the chicken, chef? Or what Literally, you same pan. Use one pot for everything. Okay. Literally cook the whole lot together. Okay, so I'm going to construct it now. Okay. So we have our meat that's going to go in first. A gorgeous mix. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da -da. That's hot, isn't it? It's a little hot. <laughs> uh, I normally have asbestos fingers, you do, but yeah. <clears throat> not quite today. So that's your onions, your mushrooms, your garlic, your, and your Correct. bacon. I'm going to put in some spring onion as well. 
Okay. Uh, more for colour than anything else, but I do like a little bit of crunch from it, so I don't cook them off. I'm going to add my chicken. That goes in. Now all of those flavours can combine. Can I just say that's a fantastic bowl? Yes, this is actually Mum's bowl. Is it? Yeah, I got it for her for Christmas. Ah, very she good. Loves to very prep good. things. So in goes most of the sauce. I'm just going to keep a little left to go over oh, the top. Look. We mix it together. In goes our pasta. And of course you cook the pasta. Pasta's cooked in advance. Um, 55 grams uh, is really uh, about a cup. So all in all, there's four cups of pasta in here. Wow, well, okay. Okay, now, sorry, just wipe that away there. <clears throat> so now you're gonna build the dish. We're gonna put it together quickly. So, nice pour, in it goes. Look at that. Lovely and sticky. And that's going to happily serve a family of four, if not oh, six. Oh, six to it? eight people. Yeah. Six to eight people. Nice little salad on the side. Maybe some garlic bread. Salads. Absolutely. Yes, I've heard of that. Yes. Salads. salads. Yeah. Those those things. They're that, catching on those yeah, salads. Yeah. Slowly but surely. The last bit of cheese. I'm just going to cheese sauce. Should I say? I'm going to just put on top. Lovely. Like so. And just smooth that out a little bit. Like so. Beautiful. We've plenty of time, chef. Excellent. Now, third cheese, ah, mozzarella. Right. Mozzarella. Right? We put our mozzarella on top. Beautiful. Right? It gets nice and crispy and, and stringy, just the way we like it. Because that's going to give you a different texture than with a crispy top, isn't it? Correct, yeah. correct. So we're building it up layer by layer. <clears throat> that now, now goes in the app. So. so what temperature do we cook that at, Chef? <clears throat> if you prepare it the day in advance, which is the best way to do it because right. then it's much faster when you get home and you're rushing around. You just need throw feed, it in the oven. Pop it in the oven. 120 initially, just to warm it through. You don't want it to burn. So yeah. start at 120 for about 25 minutes and then whack the heat up and it'll start browning. And what you can do is just put the grill on just to finish it. <clears throat> now, Very since good. I arrived in the, in the studio, <clears throat> I've put it in the oven <laughs> on a lower temperature Happy to have it ready for... Mr. So Simon is this, himself. Is, is this one that you made yesterday? Then? This is one that I made yesterday. Excellent. So okay. it's, it's a handy thing to make oh, look in advance. At this bad boy. And if anybody can I see that. I won't eat all that. <clears throat> look oh, at no. that. That is literally bubbling. Look at that. It is bubbling. I'm going to set this aside. That looks. And we can finish delicious. it with a little bit of parsley just to garnish it off. Look at that. Ready to go. Do you know, they say that we eat our eyes, chef. And I mean, if you put that on any dinner table. People are going to be happy, you know what I mean? Uh, of course they're going to be happy. Now, look at that. Oh. Beautiful, look at that. I had this two days ago when we were testing the recipe and it is absolutely to die for. Is there actually somebody that's employed as your recipe tester? Yeah, me. Because <laughs> uh, we're going to say if there's an opening, I'm <coughs> to apply, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a I'm test. very qualified. We, we, uh, exactly. <laughs> We test this at home. Right, now no, it is hot, that. so please be careful. Okay. Let me know what you think. I will it. taste that during the break because I have to do a little read now. Chef, it's a okay. cracking recipe. Very Thank good. you very much. Full recipe details are, of course, up on the website. Or call into Dean at Briefy House Resort and try his wares for yourself. Right, we're going to take a quick break while I have my breakfast. See you back here in a minute.